Hello and welcome to the Troville Hotel Room and Pool Review. Yes, I've done this one before and this is another hotel room review and pool review as well. Yeah, I've done this one before. I've done it once before and then I did a double room before and now I'm doing a family room. Yes. So, enjoy this hotel room review and pool review, shall I say? So, welcome to this room. One, two, two, yeah. So you're gonna be shocked by what you see in a second probably, but the room is good itself. Just needs a few tweaks and it will be perfect. So here's your double bed, but your double bed there. The floor needs a new carpet. Here's your double bed. Could do with some new wallpaper. Yeah, there you go. Coming round, you have your Son Sano TV, how you pronounce it. Let me move this chair back. You have a desk. Nothing in there. But surprisingly, the hairdryer is there and plugged in there. So it goes through there and plugged in. Like I said, Sano TV, a mirror, then a bigger mirror right next to it. Then, sorry, your tea and coffee making facilities. All there. Nothing in these drawers down here. Let me pull this chair out. Nice chair. Nice, nice chair, has a mark there, and a mark there. You have a chair there, a wardrobe, with all my stuff in it. Yep. And you have your double bed, two lovely lights up here. They seem to be different to each other. Your bed and your two lights up there. And coming in here, you have your toilet. Good clean toilet. <coughs> Nice flowing water. Body wash and stuff was up there, but I took it with me. That is not a normal colour. It should be white. Don't think you can see the dirt. Oh yeah, you can see the dirt at the bottom. That is not normal colour. Nice bathroom though. It has a crack here. Toilet there. Towel rack there. Toilet tissue and toilet tissue. And here's your bedroom. TV over there. Window. Yep, and bed. Here's your double bed and your desk space. Desk space over there. Nice room. It just has carpeting issues there. Issue here. Wallpaper need changing. And then it's all good to go. Tea and coffee making facilities. Lovely, nice chair. Radiator. Nice lights. Fan. Another chair. And so on. 
And finally, fire action plan on the back of the door. Your double bed again. As you walk in, you are greeted by your bed, which is a king bed. Very big bed. Yes, very, very big bed. I think it's two small doubles together. It's a enormous bed. The biggest bed I probably had. Coming over here, you have a bunk bed. One, two beds on it. Moving over here. You have a light. You have a sideboard, mark, marks, you have a chair, not very nice, not very nice, there is a tear here, you have a TV, a wardrobe, all my stuff inside it and opening this one the drawers come with it when you open it you got a few hangers quite a few you have a radiator very hot radiator you have a plug socket not very good loose so there's four plugs there coming over here you have a light you have a mirror a desk with marks in it mark there mark there nothing in these drawers your hair dried outside the room this time. I mean, outside the drawer this time. You have a view. Not very nice view, but it's a view. The other side is not very nice. Yep, the other side is not very nice. Tea and coffee making facilities. Milk and stuff. It's a kettle clean. You've got a fan, rubbish fan. Nope, not clean. Are the cups clean? Yes, in somewhat respect. But not the back of it isn't. You have a chair which is kind of broken, but not broken. Someone will break it eventually. A towel there. Two pictures. This light, does it work? Yes, it does. Does the TV work? Yes, it does. Here is your bathroom. That is your shower. This is your bathroom. You have a hanging hook on this very heavy door. And coming over here. It's your sink. You've got body wash and you've got some soap and so on and then you have your toilet which flushes very well and you have your towel rack with all your towels on it in your family room here is your bed bathroom just move that over a bit Here is your bathroom.
nice bathroom I love that mirror with that lights on it and yeah here is your double bed again sorry your king bed again stop recording I'm currently in the hot tub right now and it is not bubbling but you can see behind me the bubbles from when it did bubble quite a few seconds ago shall I say and yeah I'm gonna turn on the bubbles ah here are the bubbles of the bubbling pool right I'm oh, sorry of the bubbling hot tub right here Here is the pool, lovely nice pool, does need some work doing to it, fixing up in areas and here is the hot tub which I'm going to go in for another 10 minutes and then get out. There are some bubbles in it so I won't bubble it up. I'm currently in the pool and it is kind of cold, not as cold as I remember it to be. I did watch the review and yeah I'm going to go under the water now so I see you under the water. And yeah, I'm going back under. This time, I'm telling you this way. I am currently in the sauna. And it is hot in here but not boiling hot and it's not hot when you sit on this stuff but it is getting hotter in here and so I've just turned it on so when you come into this sauna you need to turn it on yourself turn the light on and turn it on for 10 minutes and it does get really hot in here it's starting to get really really hot in here that is one thing I'm noticing right now the floor isn't hot though which is not a big bad thing to say but it's not a bonus either yeah nice in here it's not as hot as some others which i do like but then it's not as hot as some others which i don't like the fact it's not as hot as some others but it is what it is so this was the troville hotel room and pool review in the town center of bournemouth Yes, and it is about a five minute walk from the town square, shall I say? Yeah, lovely walk to the town square, not long, and it cost me £43 and 39p in total for two nights stay. So that's about 20 something pounds each night. Yes, what a bargain. Would I recommend coming here? Yes, I would for the price. Absolute bargain. I changed rooms. That's because the bath was dirty. Yeah. So that scores lower for me. Now, the furniture is a bit worn in this room. However, it is much better than loads of other hotels out there. Shall I say? So that's a bonus. And the pool is very worn. It's better than... A others out there but not the best shall i say so don't get your hopes up when coming here for swimming if you want to come swimming then this is probably not the hotel pay a bit more around about 50 quid 60 quid yeah you'll get a better room that is my total honest opinion i mean you'll get a better pool 
shall I say, correction, a better pool and a better hot tub. Because I'm not so keen on those bubbles. So the pool, I would give a 7.5 out of 10. The hot tub, I would give a 7 out of 10. Overall, I'd give a 7.2 out of 10. The room, I would give a 7.5 out of 10 for cleanliness. For style, a 7.4 out of 10. For feel, 7.4 out of 10. For size, 7.8 out of 10. For bathroom size, 7.8 out of 10. Bathroom style, 7.2 out of 10. Overall, I'd give it a 7.1 out of 10. And customer service is definitely a 10 out of 10. No matter what, I would do the customer service different. So overall, I'd give this hotel a 7.2 out of 10. Yes. The score may have gone down a bit. I can't remember. Or it may have gone up a bit. You've got a nice Sony TV, which is nice and big. Yes, that is a bonus. Apart from that... Would I actually, actually recommend this hotel? Yes, I would definitely recommend this hotel for the price. If the price is right, then I would definitely come here. One thing to note, they are upgrading their rooms slowly, but they surely will have every room upgraded. And they will look different. Apart from that, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. Bye.